morning guys I'm going to um, just show you around my boat and what's on board so let's start with the engine the engine is a Yanmar Yanmar four-cylinder 195 horsepower it's an inboard diesel attached to a Yanmar ZT 370 leg drive. So in here you've got the you've got the uh, raw water, you've got the seawater strainer, and you've got an automatic fire extinguisher there. Here we've got a manual bilge pump. We've got an automatic bilge pump down there. You can see it's quite a cozy fit. We've got an air intake under here, which draws the air into the engine. Uh, you can see down there, hydraulic steering. And uh, we've got a bit of insulation for heat and sound here. This is a live well. It's a live bait tank, or you can, uh, you can use it as a dry tank if you want. But the problem is it's not insulated. So on a hot summer's day, you can't really keep much in there chopping board so in here I store I store my cooge which is a it's a live sand deal this keeps sand deals alive you, you, if you watch one of the videos you'll see it in action but this you can fill with water just connect this hose up and switch the deck wash on And that's it starting to fill. We've got a drain, a drain here, a drain out there. So it drains out of here, and then it's very handy on here. Then we've got a self draining deck, so the deck just drains down through these scuppers, yeah, all the way to the back here, and just straight off the deck which is very helpful so what I can also do here I can just plug a regular hose in and I can use it as deck wash again if you watch previous videos you'll see me using the deck wash quite regularly very very helpful to keep the boat clean uh, you can rinse everything down as soon as you know as soon as you get any mess on the deck you can rinse it down before it dries on you have to wash it off so it's very very helpful so you can see the pump I'll show you the pump it's on a pressure valve so it'll stop it'll stop at a certain pressure and then when it fills the drop in pressure it'll start up again it, again very handy because I can leave the I can leave the rocker switch on for the bait tank we've got this is our flow jet jet wash pump we've got a bilge pump with a uh, super switch there we've got three heavy duty batteries we've got one for the engine start and then we've got two linked in parallel for the uh, for everything else that's the transducer down there for the for the echo sounder this is the seacock and the skin fitting seawater in for the deck wash pump. Got a fuel filter there. Got a custom 300 litre stainless steel fuel tank there. We've got a mag like a kitchen magnet here for my knives and scissors. In this starboard locker here, we've got our anchor, which is a, it's a 10 kilo uh, Bruce anchor chain and anchor line you got a bin 12 volt line and net hauler again you'll see an action in some of my other videos hauling crab pots and some long lines uh, 
I haven't set any nets yet, but I will because this this part is the net hauler. Usually sits a um, 12 volt electric reel, and I've got space for a jigging machine back there. I've got a rack for uh, for a boat hook, and I'm going to have a gaff and a and a wash down brush in there as well at some point. This side we've got the net, and we've got a live ring and light. Up on the radar arch, they got a radar reflector. It will catch other 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 vessels' uh, uh, radar pulses. You want to put those as high as possible. So the higher you can put them, the further away that you know other vessels will see you on radar. I've got my own radar here. It's a, it's a Garmin 18 HD. You can see the status flashing there. got a six-man life raft here and it's, it's uh, obviously housed in a casing and it's rigged to a hydrostatic release so this is a pressure switch in here so if the boat sinks there's a pressure uh, there's a pressure pad in here which will then uh, which will then activate a razor blade which cuts through here and then this whole section cuts away leaving this to float free and then the painter line which will inflate the raft is attached to a weak link which once the raft's inflated will then break so this live raft will launch itself automatically I've also got an EPO which is a satellite rescue beacon a radio beacon and again this is in a float free housing so under this housing there's the transmitter and this will this will pop open it with the same pressure system and float free and activate six stainless rod holders okay let's have a look inside the cabin so in here we've got the helm seat and a, and a passenger seat these are the isolator switches for the batteries In here is a safety locker, we've got flares, but we've also got a shore battery charger and inverter. We've got an inverter there. And that is the control unit for my autopilot. First aid kit. These are thermal protective aids. And we've got an offshore flare pack. In here, I've rigged up a This is just a bit of a, this is a DIY job, but it's quite handy. You've got, you've got fishing tackle in here, terminal tackle. Quite helpful. So I don't need a tackle box out all the time. I've got a 240 volt system when the engine's running. So I can rig up a small microwave and a kettle in here at some point. More safety equipment, life jackets. Uh, I've got I've got eight life jackets in total. You might have noticed I've got a marine toilet. Marine toilet. Okay, over here, I've got a heater matrix. So this box takes the heat off the engine and pumps it through. I've got a vent here and then pumps it round under here to a windscreen. The windscreen heater, which is again handy early in the morning when the this is the condensation in the cabin. There's VHF there and handheld VHF here in the corner. Uh, then we've got this is a, it's an override system for the engine if the main throttle fails. We've got a fusion radio and Bluetooth, Bluetooth stereo there. I've got a rocker switch panel here with lights, 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 lights. That's our deck wash bilge pump and windscreen wipers. This is to hold my phone. Unit for the engine there. It's the start stop system on the engine. It's gauge panel. It's all digital nowadays. This is the autopilot unit and magnetic compass. Older Garmin plotter and 
an older code and sounder but these two units do the job at the moment so all good so i bought the boat in 2014 so eight years ago and it's been in various states of repair ever since but i've recently spent a bit of money on it so new engine and electrics upgrades and some new fishing equipment and we're good to go for the season and beyond hopefully